one of the mistakes that I think a lot of people make is that they'll um, they'll download stock photography. So let's say I'm working on a particular project on this blank slide right here. I'll download some stock photography like this one here, and uh, you know we'll we'll drag and drop this into my project. You'll see, wow, that's huge. This image is thousands of pixels by thousands of pixels wide. In fact, if I make this as small as I possibly can, you can just, it barely fits. And let's, uh, let's do what most people will do is they will fit to stage, right? So that works, but again, if I go and right click on this particular file, find it in the library, this is 7.5 megabytes, which at first glance, um, you know, this is not that large. But remember, in a typical e-learning course, you might have hundreds, perhaps even, um, you know, 500 images in a particular e-learning course. If they're all, you know, five, six, seven, eight megabytes in size, it's going to be too large. So the appropriate thing to do in this case here is let's edit this in Photoshop. So I know a couple of things. I know that um, that particular project is 1024 by 627. So I'm going to do some things with this image first of all. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into image and then select image size. And from here, let's try a few things out. So 1024 that's appropriate 684 is larger than 627 if it wasn't i might type in 627 first and see if my width is large enough to cover the width of the slide in this case it's not so 1024 is an appropriate choice so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to bring the image size down to fit basically my 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 smallest width or height in which I've done in this case here. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Um, and let's let's do image and canvas size now. So I'm going to switch this to pixels. 1024, 684. Let's go 627. Now be careful because your, your anchor point will determine what gets cropped off here. So in an image like this, I'm probably safe with this uh, being uh, aligned this way with the anchor in the middle. But let's say the keyboard is really important in this image for, for some reason. I might anchor it at the bottom, willing to cut off maybe even a little bit of their heads because the keyboard's so important. I don't know what it is, but let's click OK. So now we've got a perfect sized image. If I close this now and save my JPEG, Again, I can choose maybe medium quality to uh, really optimize that image now. So now I'm going to drag this into my Captivate project file. It's the appropriate size. Let's just uh, illustrate that. Not only is it a much smaller size, but if I use my alignment tools, it perfectly fits this slide. And take a look at the difference in size. Remember, we started with 7,569 kilobytes. Now it's 100 kilobytes. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.